please follow me on Twitter at TNA Fan SR and like the wrestling Facebook page, which is the Wrestling News Talk. Uh, we talk about wrestling there, all sorts of wrestling, all companies, and yeah, please go to Facebook and like that page, Wrestling News Talk. This is going to be a review of OBW episode 723, and this is from last week's episode. This is the last week's episode, and I forgot to do this. Now it's um, Wednesday, and th this is when the new episode is aired on television, but I watched episodes on Thursday when they're available on ovwrestling.com. So yeah, let's let's start this. Uh, I'm going to do another review for uh, episode 724 this Sunday or Friday. So uh, first of all, the pre-show dark matches were J Best, who, who is a member of the VIP club, versus Eddie Diamond. Eddie Diamond won the match. Second match was Lady Tapa versus Jessie Bell or Ballet, whatever, and uh, Lady Tapa won, so she's still undefeated. And third match was a six women tag team match, and it was Taylor Hendricks, Heidi Loveless, and Nikki John versus Trina and the Blossom Twins. And Taylor, Heidi, and Nikki John uh, won the match. Uh, Taylor Hendricks, that is, and Heidi Loveless, if I didn't say their full names. Then when the actual episode starts, um, Gilbert Corsay, uh, he's he's in the ring and he says that, um, you know, he talks about Jackie Fargo, a wrestling legend who lied, died, sorry, lied, who, who passed away um, previous Monday. So I didn't know about him, but, you know, he, he wrestled for a very long time and he, he's a legend, so yeah, rest in peace, and thank you for um, helping the wrestling business out and making it a um, a great business and making it, you know, I, I love pro wrestling, and if guys like Jackie Fargo, Vern Gagne, and other, a couple of other wrestlers, or old wrestlers, Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, if they weren't there, I, I pro wrestling would have died. So yeah, it's still here, thanks to these guys. And uh, this episode was dedicated to, or it was for, Jackie Fargo. The Coalition comes out after this is done. They do not interrupt this, and I like this. I thought that Coalition would come out and it would be kind of disrespectful, but no, they didn't do that, so that's good. There's advertisements after the Jackie Fargo announcements, and then the Coalition comes out, a, a group led by Crimson and Jason Wayne, the generals of the Coalition, they come out and they say that uh, they beat Muhammad Ali and Michael Hayes. Um, they beat um, them down or beat them up. Yeah, they beat them up. So uh, this, show, this shows that Ali and uh, Hayes or Michael Hayes, whatever, they're nothing compared to the coalition and they just trash talk about them. So Muhammad Ali, Michael Hayes, um, Rockstar Spud, Rudy Switchblade, and Ryan Howe, they come out and um, basically just Michael uh, Hayes and Muhammad Ali go into the ring. Um, Rudy Switchblade, um, Ryan Howe, and Rockstar Spider are just there for the cover uh, in case the coalition attacks. So Muhammad Ali basically says that they're not going to wait for Saturday Night Special and they want to face the coalition for their Southern Tag Team Championships right now, later tonight. So the coalition basically attacks um, Muhammad Ali and Michael Hayes after this, and uh, they basically just throw Muhammad Ali into the into the chair. They put the chair in the turnbuckle, and then they throw Ali into that, just like they just like what they did to Sam Shaw last week. And according to the storyline, Sam Shaw is still with in the hospital, and uh, he's getting treated and everything, and. Um, yeah, that's basically it, and then they go on advertisements when they come back, the coalition is in the ring, and they're like, okay, we accept your challenge, Michael Hayes and Muhammad Ali, come out right now, so they, they're just talking and talking, and the music does not hit, and nobody comes out, so the coalition says that you guys are cowards, and you're not coming out, because obviously Muhammad Ali just got attacked, but then Michael Hayes comes out alone, with the cover of uh, Rudy Switchblade, uh, Spud and Ryan Howe, they're outside the ring, but in the match, it's 
Jason Green and Crimson versus Muhammad Ali and Michael Hayes, but Muhammad Ali isn't out there. And uh, basically, during the start of the match, Michael Hayes kind of beats them up. Uh, he kind of has the control of the match, but then Coalition gains control of the match, and that is when Muhammad Ali comes out with his left or right arm. You know, it's like, you know, how you put your arm, and there's this thing on the back, or the shoulder. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but when you have to keep your shoulder like this. So, um, he comes out with that on, so the Coalition attacks um, Muhammad Ali's arm, but um, when Jason Wayne has uh, Muhammad Ali in a lock, he's basically, he has Muhammad Ali in a lock where he's holding onto his hand or something, a hand plus a neck lock, something like that. So, um, Michael Hayes, he kind, he kind of does a heelish kind of a move, he takes a steel bar, and hits Jason Wayne with it while the, while the referee is busy with uh, he he's uh, dealing with the rest of the coalition because they're uh, trying to get into the ring. So Michael Hayes attacks him. One two three. Ma uh, Muhammad Ali pins Jason Wayne. Muhammad Ali and Michael Hayes, new Southern Tag Team Champions. Okay, yeah, I, I, I didn't really like this that much because. Uh, Fan of the heels and especially the coalition, I think they're doing a great job. But yeah, whatever. Um, they want it. I'm just telling you guys and go watch that match. This was like the first 25 minutes of the episode. This is like half of the episode of Coalition, Muhammad Ali, and Michael Hayes. Next, we've got Jesse Goddard who comes out into the ring and he says that he can beat anyone out there in the OVW roster. So he calls. He there's just like. A, like an open challenge, he calls anyone out, and uh, Marcus Anthony, who's beast, he reminds me, uh, I kind of, you know, see him as um, Bobby Lashley or Batista, he's got this huge body, with the looks, and yeah, he basically comes out, and uh, Marcus Anthony controls most of the match, because Jesse Goddard is a jobber, and Marcus Anthony is a beast, so yeah, he basically beats Jesse Goddard, and um, yeah, Mark Pesetti won the match. Then we've got Jay Bradley backstage who comes out of uh, Danny Davis's office and uh, he's really pissed off because he's not the number one contender. He's still not the number one contender for the OVW uh, heavy, Heavyweight Championship. So he's really pissed about it. He comes out and um, he, he randomly starts talking to Dylan Bostic who is Dylan Bostic who's just standing uh, um, backstage and he's like, Jay Bradley says, uh, you know, I should have been the number one contender. I I beat Rob Terry, beat Ryan Howe, whatever. And he's like, oh, okay, now uh, I'm going to beat um, Jamin Oluvencia. Who, who does he think he is? So Jamin Oluvencia comes out. Uh, he Out of nowhere, he uh, comes into the picture, the frame of the cameraman. It's like, uh, okay, then get your gear on and we'll fight tonight. So this match is fixed. But then... Next, we've got the TV Championship match, which is Randy Royal versus Tony Gunn, two friends who are now not friends who are, uh, who are competing with each other for the TV Championship. Slow match, uh, I didn't really like it that much, but Randy Royal won with a low blow because he's the heel and Tony Gunn is the babyface. And Randy Royal is still the TV Champion, the OVW TV Champion. Next match, Jay Bradley versus Jamie Nolivencia. The match is going on. It was a good match. I, I like this match because, you know, I like Jay Bradley as a heel and Jamie Oluvencia is he's doing a great job as a baby face. Then um, Jay Bradley, he's basically beating the shit out of um, Jamie Oluvencia. Then he goes out to take a chair and when he's about to hit Jamie Oluvencia, Rob Terry, who's on commentary, uh, comes into the ring, snatches the chair from um, Jay Bradley because he... He respects Jamie Nolivencia a lot, Rob Terry, because uh, uh, he believes that he's a good uh, competitor and uh, it's going to be a good match at OVW. So he basically snatches the chair from Jay Bradley and hits Jay Bradley with the chair. So the referee rings the bell. Jay Bradley wins with the uh, DQ and uh, Rob Terry can't believe it, he believe it and he's in a shock. He's upset because he, he didn't want Jay Bradley to win. He just snatched the chair from him and he just wanted to attack him because, you know, he was snatching the chair back from Rob Terry. Then, then Jay Bradley standing here, 
and Jay, and uh, Rob Perry is about to hit Jay Bradley with the chair, but then he, um, you know, gets out of the way and the chair hits Jamie Nolivencia. And he didn't supposed to do that because uh, it wasn't supposed to happen according to Rob Terry. But yeah, that was the script. And um, that happened and Rob Terry was just there standing. He was shocked. And yeah, that's where the episode ended. And Jay Bradley um, walked out of the ring smiling. And yeah, that's basically it for this week's OVW episode. Not really the best episode, but whatever. I enjoyed the Jay Bradley, Jamie Nolan, Vencia match. They're just building this up for it. Jamie Nolan CL versus Rob Terry for the OVW Heavyweight, Heavyweight Championship um, this Saturday night special, which is I guess July the 6th. You cannot watch um, the episodes, uh, I mean the pay-per-views or the Saturday night specials on OVWrestling.com, so I, I won't do a review for that because I cannot watch it. Then the post-show dark matches were Dylan Bostick versus Rob Terry. Rob Terry won. This should have been on the episode. And the Jesse Goddard versus um, Marcus Anthony should have been in the, you know, the, the dark matches. Because Rob Terry is the number one contender for the world title. And they need to build this up on television. Rob Terry versus I mean, Jamie and Vincia. Next, a post-show dark matches. Uh, tag team match which is Paradise versus Paradise and Melvin Maximus versus Ryan Howe and Rockstar Spud and uh, Ryan Howe and Rockstar Spud won this match so uh, once again it wasn't the best episode of OVW but um, um, yeah I, I really like Jamie Nelly Vencia and Jay Bradley so yeah I enjoyed the last match and the promo they had backstage so thanks for watching and please subscribe and another OVW episode review coming out Friday, Sunday-ish, uh, I'm not sure. Thank you.